Hello and welcome everybody and thank you guys for joining me again. My name is Wilkie and I'm here with a new video because, uh, yeah, I guess for the guys who follow C9 you pretty much know, for those of you who stopped following C9, basically what happened is they, and by they I mean the developers of C9, they decided to rework the shadow and uh, yeah, I'm here to take a look to basically give you guys my thoughts. I did one run so I know a bit about it. Keep in mind that I don't know all of it, and also keep in mind I'm still not fully well, so we'll uh, cough here and there, and uh, yeah, sorry about that. But, let's basically go right into the first thing is you, or I think every shadow, I think, I'm not entirely sure, has received a chest that will contain skill books. And um, two skill resets, I already used one to change my build. So my current skill build is looking like this. I max dual vital thrust. This is... <clears throat> Pardon. This is a sort of PvE build. I haven't used all of my skill points because I will do some tests later on as well. Uh, but basically dual vital thrust, I'm not entirely sure. I don't think it's worth it to max it, but I just did anyways because it has a very low cooldown, so it might be good with uh, the skill book. Um, lift kick, terrible scaling, not worth it. Dual turn slash, used to get the double turn slash. F uh, flying shatter kick for the air version. Dual Chain Strike because I like it and I want to see how the new skill affects it. Violent Shadow, pretty straightforward. Shadow Decoy, yeah, um, Shadow Mode is something I will explain in a bit. And Venom, level 1 is needed for Poison Storm, Rising Storm for Combination. Shadow Star, I maxed it for the skill book. Ankle Cutter because I think it's one of the better scalings you have, so that's alright. Um, <clears throat> God damn it. Shadow Haste and Barb Shadows. Basically 100% uptime without any cooldown reduction at all, so I think these are very good for PvE. Vital Spiral, really good scalings. Uh, Deceptive Cutter got buffed, so um, yeah, it does more damage than it used to, and I think it also has an iframe. Um, at least in the patch notes, it says Invincible by Upper Attack, so I think the Uppercut will now have an iframe. I'm not sure if that's also for PvP, but at least in PvE it should. Um, uh, yeah, Poison Storm, Shadow Talon, generally very good skills, so as far as commands go, um, one of the other new skills is Double Step, that will allow you to do a second Shadow Step. Inversion will allow you to switch positions with your Illusion, which is also a new skill, that which is called Shadow Illusion, and um, that will be summoned after the Double Step or Shadow Dash, so it's very similar to Assassin's Shadow Burst. Um, you can explode it manually, and uh, what's new, I guess, is that you can switch positions, and... <clears throat> Jesus. Dark Shadow is a buff. I'm not sure why it's listed under commands. That will trigger if you use Shadow Mode. Shadow Mode is a totally new skill they invented for PvE that will affect all of these skills listed there, um, giving you... Additional hits, sometimes the Shadow Clone will mimic your moves. Other times you will see him doing uh, other effects or something. You get to see that right away once I get into the dungeon. The reason why I didn't max it is because um, the reason why it's level 5 is to get Dark Shadow. And I can also, I think, get the skill to level 10. But unfortunately, nothing is really clear what exactly the level does. So I'm also going to do some testing in the same dungeon to see what effect the skill level of Shadow Mode is going to have. And uh, yeah, basically that's my skill build. My gear is going to be, or stats are going to be looking like this. Um, not the best Earth attack, I know that, but I'm not going for super high damage numbers. I want to see if I can clear dungeons like that. And uh, my gear is obviously not that super great. And I don't even have the corresponding elemental damage, but yeah. Um, we should be fine, hopefully at least. So this is what my damage is going to look like. I'm going to do this, put this here. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead in. And Shadow Mode almost affects any skill, really. Dual, Vital Thrust, Vital Cut, Turn Slash, Double Turn Slash, Lift Kick, Chain Strike, Shadow Star, Ankle Cutter, Vital Spiral, Deceptive... Uh, cutter, Poison Storm, Shadow Talon, Kneeling Crash, and Scythe the Break. So there's a lot of effects, and we're gonna go straight ahead. And you can see that I don't really have many dungeons unlocked, so we're just gonna go Valley of the Wind on hard, which is obviously not the hardest dungeon, pun not intended, but yeah. 
<clears throat> Anyways, uh, as far as patch notes go, I will put them into uh, the description so you can take a look and you can basically understand what else is going to happen. So first things first, we're going to buff ourselves with the regular one and I'm going to use shadow mode instantly. So like I said, what it does, it affects pretty much all of the skills. It has a 90 second duration, 120 second cooldown. So with enough cooldown reduction, you can almost always have it on. So uh, I think this is going to be good. And my PC spiked there a bit, sorry for that. So basically, this is what Shadow Mode is going to look like. And like I said, certain skills will kind of start mimicking, you can see that. Um, sort of others are just going to do a double version, like this one. But Rising Slash, for example, you will not see that unless I hit something. But Rising Slash, for example, does a completely different animation. Um, side Break is like this. And what else do we have? Lift Kick. See, he does like an ankle cutter after that, so that's a bit of a different move. Um, Deceptive Cutter is basically mimicked. What else do we have? Poison Storm uh, is uh, like more AoE, I guess. You get the point. Um, it affects stuff. Yielding Crash. See, that's like a completely different animation. Anyways, let's just go ahead. Oh yeah, and the double shadow step is gonna look like this. And it's gonna cause this Shadow Clone, which I said, which basically works like Shadow Burst. I'm not sure if he has a duration. Um, yeah, it has a duration apparently. So uh, there's that. And like I said, I can switch positions with him. So uh, let's do that, I guess, once. Shift left click, and I'm gonna swap. And Shift F is gonna detonate him. So let's go for some PvE. And the damage numbers buffs up. Um, it's still running, so yeah, I guess keep an eye on the numbers a bit. I will do proper damage testing. Now the buff is off, so I should be dealing less damage than I was before. But generally, a lot of the skills for shadows have been um, buffed. So yeah, let's go back with the shadow mode and see how things are going to be now. Um, I don't expect this to be really hard, but then again... That was a lot of damage, actually. That that looked pretty good. So, is there any range? Yeah, I think there is a range a bit. So let's go Shadow Talon. That's pretty much a mimic, just as the same. And the Rising Storm, as I said, does a little bit different animation these days. Uh, hide is gonna make you move faster. Vital Spiral is like a double version. So yeah, you get the point. I'm, I'm just gonna repeat myself at this point, but. Um, a lot of skills got new stuff. A lot of things are basically just buffed up more hits, faster hits, more damage, and stuff like that. So yeah, I think they did actually a good job on making Shadow a bit more PvE, -y, if that makes any sense. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna see how much of an effect it really has. So far, it's looking good. What's important for me is really how fast the boss will die. And um, how things are going to be looking there. So, yeah. Still kind of a bit not used to that uh, rising combination thingy. But in time, I might actually will. So, like I said, I will not be able to explore everything. And there might be things I'm missing. So, uh, keep that in mind. I am not the best pve -er, especially not with Shadow, so there might be things I'm missing. Keep that in mind. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna pop Fury, I'm gonna pop Shadow Mode. And I'm curious to see the damage, really. It's around 60k around that. Um, 20k on that. Because, like I said, I'm curious what the Shadow level, or if the Shadow level is gonna have any impact whatsoever. Violent Shadow, unfortunately, does not have a buff. So, uh, yeah. I do see quite large numbers. I do have Fury on, but, uh, yeah, my gear, like I said, is not that great. So, a bit surprised to see that many good numbers. So, let's see. And, uh, yeah. That worked sort of well. I didn't try too hard, really. I'm just gonna go ahead and return to town. I'm gonna go... And level up the shadow mode to level 10 or whatever the max level is I can currently take and we're gonna take a look 
and see what this is. Uh, this might be a bit of a longer video. Uh, but yeah, I will also do the skill book test, but I will make it in a separate video, so don't worry about that. It's not gonna be too long. So shadow mode, level 10 is max. So it's basically double of what it was. And let's just go straight back into, don't waste any time. Um, as far as the skill books go, I think I missed one. Or the description is unclear. But like I said, I will talk about that in the next video. So let's just go ahead and do that. I think my rank changed a bit. So maybe my damage is going to be a bit higher, but uh, yeah. Generally, the shadow mode... Uh, let's see if it makes any difference. So visual-wise and effect-wise, it doesn't. So I believe what's going to change is the damage. Hopefully, at least. So let's go with that first shadow star. Huh. I think the damage is a bit higher, but... Yes, it definitely is high. Wow, that was that was like 110k uh, if I have seen that right. We'll see that on the boss, which is where we have the, I guess, better damage numbers. Um, but yeah, I think the damage increase, not by a whole lot, but I think it's better. So leveling up the shadow mode does seem to have an effect on how things scale. Wow, shadow uh, deceptive cutter really hurts a lot now. So, uh, yeah. I think so far, Shadow is playable in PvE now. At least to this extent, like I said. Um, I guess, after the exams, I'll try and make a tower run, maybe? At least the first 20 floors, because I don't think my gear is good enough to handle later floors, but yeah. Wow, Violent Shadow hits super hard though, Jesus. And Shadow Mode is off now? No, not yet, but soon as. So you can see it's it's probably like 8 or 10 seconds off time I have of the buff, so that's really good. Um, but I do have quite a bit of cooldown reduction, so yeah. There's that. I think the detonation of that Shadow Clone is not really that great. I think the biggest asset to that skill is really that you are able to switch um, positions with him. So, uh, yeah. Well, double dash is kind of nice, but I think it's more of a gimmick than anything. So let's go, let's see what the damage numbers are going to be like. Uh, I, I didn't hit that. Personally, I don't feel a huge difference, really, between, um, yeah, between what it was and what it is now. But it's probably worth leveling up Shadow Mode, at least to level 5 to get the additional buff, obviously. If level 10 is gonna make a difference, I don't know. So far, I'm unable to tell. Um, maybe in the future... Like I said, once I have more time, I'll be able to do some more testing. Anyways, this was my, I guess, impression or checking out the video or shadow content. Um, if I were to rate it, I think it's actually in a pretty good position. Because I didn't even use skill books. And I think these dungeons worked alright. I believe expert dungeons shouldn't be much harder either. Master might be a bit tricky or you should pay attention, you know, with iframes and stuff. But generally, I think uh, they did a really, really decent job um, giving Shadow a bit more power, I guess, or playability in PvE. Anyways, like I said, I will make a follow-up video. I'm not sure if today where I'll take a look at the skill books. I think they are running for two days. So I have a bit of time left to check those out and show you guys what that's going to be looking like. And obviously, like I said, I might do a tower run or something to see how that's going to go. Anyways, thank you guys for sticking around with a C9 video. Um, uh, yeah, I will do a second Revelation online video as well before the beta ends. And uh, I might do a BDO video before my exams end to give you guys some outlook. And uh, yeah, this is it. Thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you for joining, for watching, posting comments. And uh, also thank you for the people that 
told me about the Shadow Rework because I personally didn't know uh, because I don't really follow C9 anymore. So uh, if there's news like that, I'm very happy and very glad that people message me with that because this way I can still kind of keep keep uh, track of it and keep you guys updated with uh, certain information. So uh, really, really glad people are supporting me on that part. Even though I don't play C9 myself anymore, you guys are still wanting me to make content on it and I will gladly do so. So thank you guys for that. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.